Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome to the official opening of the space under the John Whitten Bridge. What a great crowd. It's great to see so many people who live in Rhodes and have come down to join us tonight because I think you'll all agree that if you knew what this space was like uh, six months ago and the years preceding that and you have a look at it now, it's certainly been transformed and the partnership between Roads and Maritime and the Council has certainly been able to deliver something um, special, I think, for the uh, community of Roads. Tonight we have with us the Mayor of the City of Canada Bay, Angelo Tarekas. We also have the Deputy Mayor of the City of Canada Bay, Pauline Tyrrell. We have the newly elected Member for Reed, Craig Laundie, and the Member for Des Moines, John Sadati, who is also representing the Minister of Roads, Duncan Gay. So, first of all, if I could invite the Member for Des Moines, John Sadati, up to the rostrum, please. Thank you, John. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's fantastic to be here tonight. What a great gathering. I'm delighted to be here representing uh, the Minister for Roads, uh, the Honourable Duncan Gay, at another Better Boating Program initiative funded by the New South Wales Government. It's absolutely brilliant. The new parking facilities for cars, for boat trailers at this popular local boat ramp, I guess will improve access to the Parramatta River for boating enthusiasts and, of course, residents alike. I think I'm getting some ideas, Mr Mayor, for our next New Year's Eve celebrations. <laughs> it's a great uh, public space here, which is fantastic. I'm glad that the New South Wales Government uh, has funded a project like this to the tune of about $153,000. And uh, I'm also absolutely thrilled in, in the finishing uh, of this project and thank um, the City of Canada Bay Council for their continued uh, support in delivering uh, these great projects. Sorry, can I firstly uh, also acknowledge the Mayor of Canada Bay who's behind me, the Federal Member uh, Craig, uh, Craig Laundie. Congratulations, Craig. Uh, good to see you here tonight as well. The, the time frame in which um, this was built is fantastic. Uh, it's become a reality in such a, a short uh, time. And I think uh, at this time of the year, as we approach uh, the warmer months, uh, we'll see this, this whole area ignite with enthusiasm. The upgrade, of course, is not just about uh, a boat ramp and a pontoon and so forth. It's about a foreshore precinct upgrade that was carried out by the City of Canada Bay. So congratulations uh, to the City of Canada Bay. It connects the new pedestrian and cycle link under the Meadowbank and John Whitten bridges from Mill Park to East Roads. This government recognises uh, the importance of boating to the people of the Dremoyne electorate and continues to fund projects uh, such as this one. Under the state government grants via the Better, Better Boating Program, the City of Canada Bay has also been able to complete significant upgrades uh, to the Bayview Park boat ramp, which we had the pleasure of opening some time ago with the City of Canada Bay. And of course, uh, uh, a couple of years ago, uh, the Taplin Park boat ramp in Dremoyne, which is another fantastic facility. I'm also happy with the continued uh, program. Initially this program was probably seen as not uh, being very specific to boat users, but I'm glad to see that also the wider community is benefiting um, from this program, which is fantastic uh, as well. In the particular case over at Bayview Park, that was another project where $339,000 made that project a reality. So this project included repair and extension to the existing multi-lane boat ramp and the installation of a new modular uh, pontoon. Um, can I say in 2012-13, Roads and Maritime awarded over $4.45 million to local councils and boating groups for new and improved boating facilities. The waterways around the Dremoyne electorate are a key part uh, of the way uh, we live our lives in this beautiful part of Sydney. Uh, and over the past five years, the City of Canada Bay Council has benefited from a contribution of $2.13 million from the New South Wales Government in its Better Boating Program. So can I conclude uh, once again by um, thanking you all for being here this evening. I can see this area being a focal point, uh, very much used for the benefit of everybody. Congratulate the Council, uh, all the residents here and hope uh, that um, we can continue on with funds like that that'll keep improving uh, the great area we all live in. Thank you. Thank you very much, John. Um, next speaker tonight is uh, the Mayor of City Canada Bay, Angela Tarekas. Could you please welcome Angela? 
Um, thank you, Gary, and uh, to John Sedati, the state member of Dremoyne, and uh, Craig Laundy, the new federal member of Reid, and of course, Pauline Tyrrell, the deputy mayor. And I want to make a special mention of Ben Richards, the project manager here, who uh, has been working hard uh, to get this project and others in the area completed. So thanks, Ben. Um, it, it is a great opportunity to say hello to many new residents here tonight, to to our community, to people moving into roads, to say that the council is committed to making sure that the future of roads is, is one that we look at improving the lifestyle, the, 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 the opportunity for families to really enjoy this precinct. This is one great example of, of council working with the state government, with the boat ramp improvement, with the precinct under here, under the John Whitten Bridge and the underpass, and completing a, a, a project uh, that, that leads to others in the future. And uh, in a couple of weeks, we'll be having the community uh, project for the, the building of a community precinct on, out on exhibition. It's a massive project, and I know that the uh, Roads Community Advisory Committee have been working very hard on that. So that is a huge project. And we see uh, the area here at Roads seeing develop into a, a wonderful area for a lot of residents to really enjoy in the future. And I know tonight with the food, the wine, the music and just the, the, the ambience around here is wonderful and uh, it is truly amazing that, uh, that we can all, you know, look back on these historical bridges that have been here for a long time, the John Whitten Bridge and uh, the Meadowlake Bridge and seeing it connect into, the, into our new area here at Rhodes. And it's, it's all about partnerships that, uh, that John Zadati spoke about. Tonight, of course, um, we are going to launch the, uh, the lights and I've been given the opportunity to, to give the word in a moment, uh, which we'll, we'll see the, the lighting up uh, under the bridge. But I, I'd like to uh, also thank uh, Gary Sawyer and the team on council, uh, and again, the, the community here at Rhodes for participating. And I can see that this is going to grow into something bigger and better and, uh, and certainly um, the, the population growth um, here is, is just going to benefit from the, uh, the, the, what we're going to put into it. And I can say that from 2007 when Council took over the precinct from the State Government, our minds were, were at where we can improve uh, open space, public access around the foreshore, cycleways uh, and community precincts. And we haven't finished, and I can tell you we've got dedicated staff to make sure that your ideas and are developed and, and the future is going to be a good one for the family again. So tonight, thank you for coming along and uh, being part of the opening here of the, the project under John Whitten Bridge. I'm now going to give the signal to, to Ben. Ben, have you got the signal? Okay, Ben, we want the lights on now. So with that, thank you for coming and I officially open the, the John Whitten Bridge Project. Enjoy the rest of the evening and thanks for coming along again. Thank you.